Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I'm Chadi, and uh, today, before I get started to my uh, the lesson, uh, again, uh, thank you so much for your comments. I uh, really appreciate it. And uh, any, if you have a new subscriber, uh, thank you very much. We welcome you. Mm, I want to also show you something. When I did this one, this little face, this was my very, very first one, and it was kind of, well, I played with it one way or the other, you know, and I messed it up. But I decided I wanted to go ahead and fix it. So the mouth, let me see if I can get something to point it to. Uh, okay, let's see. When is something when you needed it, right? Okay, the mouth, the, the little mouse, mouth, I can't even talk today, I'm sorry. Um, I had opened it up too much, and I wanted to be sure that it was you know, that they were smaller. So what I did, and also was, you know, kind of gets wrinkled. If anything you're gonna make out of cotton, uh, for instance, here's my bunny here. Okay, I'm not gonna show you the, the head yet. But you can kind of tell that, see how wrinkled that is? I mean, you can have it very nice and smooth, but what happens when it dries, it kind of shrinks up, you know, and then makes it kind of like that. Okay, well, there is a way to do it. I bought me some, a long time ago, some um, joint compound. Uh, I like to taste certain things with it, and I like to do certain things with it. And it's cheap, and uh, that's what I like about it. <laughs> and it can last you a long time if you do take care of it. And I'm gonna show you what I did to mine. And this one, I had it for a while, okay? But, and I have not done videos, as you know, for a long time. Well, I put in here, when I started it, a very wet, uh, a couple of, uh, you know, paper towels, really, really wet, and I brought it in nicely, right like so, so be nice and cover up, and then put the top over it, and it lasts you for a long time. But what nice about this uh, drawing compound that I love, dearly love, that it can fix things. So what I did on this one, it was also very wrinkled and very kind of, a, you know, like the bunny. And I just got some of my hand like that. And I just went over the places that it needed to be smoothed out, you know, kind of fill it in and smooth out. It actually works really, really well. So I wanted to show you that. And then this one here, also, the uh, forehead, especially area, was really, really bad. So I did that, and when after I painted it, it's nice and smooth. So I just want to pass that on to you because I do love to make the um, once you make your mold, you know, and uh, of your face with the uh, cotton pad. I love them. I think I like them better than anything else. But the problem is, again, you're gonna have the kind of a they kind of a problem. So there is a solution, and it's joint compound. I just want to tell you that real, really quick before I forget because, you know, it's the age thing. The older we get, the more you forget. <laughs> this one here, again, too, it was put a little bit of wrinkle, so I went over it with it, and when I painted it, look how nice it came out. And if I wanted some more, I can do it. But that's that's... See, in the little white in here is where I have to go back and put a little bit more. And it's filling it in, those little tiny little gaps, to, so you can have a nicer and a smoother look. I hope, you, you know, you, you appreciate that because, I, like I said, I make a lot of mistakes, but I like things to look nice. So sometimes I come up with something, sometimes I, didn't, I don't. This time I did, and I love it because you know, uh, sometimes you need a little face or a little head at that moment. So why have to wait to make one and it has to dry and all that when you can actually quickly repair one? So there you go. All righty. Today we're going to make hair. As I think as I, this is what I said the last time. And let me get this. I'm going to show you what I did with the little doll, and I'll show you the doll later. But right now, I'm gonna show you how I did the hair. It's really simple for this one. You can 
put your uh, yarn or even, you can use thread, by the way, to do hair, okay? If you want a real thin, fine, fine, it looks more like hair, you can use thread. But I like yarn, so I uh, uh, made my of yarn. I just twirl it all the way around and bring it in until I have a whole skewer full of it. And I spread with water, put it in the, a very low oven, maybe 225, until it gets, excuse me, until it gets good and dry, and it's done. And then it's just taking it out of the skewer and start it from the back of the head at the very bottom, for instance. Let's, let me get this bunny here. You will start in here, you know, and uh, just bringing it in, the little curls as you need them to fill the whole head. And then when you get to the front, of course, you will start working on the front. Okay, like a little bang or whatever. So that's what I would do with the uh, little little curls, or whatever you call them. And this is what I did to that very first little doll, the pink one with the little, uh, you know, the little curls. This one, I decided I want to do something a little bit different. I wanted more of a straight hair. Well, you sort of get it and you sort of don't, but. <laughs> you could, you know, if you, if, uh, so what I did is, I, uh, on the palm of my hand I use, and I just, I didn't count them, I just sort of, I'm going to show you what I did, I just kind of, when I thought I had enough, because half of it on one side and half of it on the other one, I think this, this is probably enough. You know, I, and I don't know how many are there. I'm not going to count it, but you get an idea. And if you want it thicker, just keep on going a little bit more. And really, that's I think that's enough. Once you get it in there, let me get a pair of scissors. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Then I'm going to come here. Before I cut it, though, make sure both ends ends about the same. And then I'm going to get another piece. It's almost like making a, uh, not a pom-pom, what I'm trying to say, a, a tassel. Okay, and I try to be pretty, you know, pretty tight. And then I'm gonna double knot it, and there we go. This is gonna be at the bottom. Before I do that, though, I'm gonna cut it. And now you got, there you go, your hair. That's it. That it's it. Do you want little bangs on it? Then, you know, kind of see what you want. And let's say you want this many here. Because you can always put more, okay? So then I would go ahead and cut, not too short to begin with, okay? Just a portion of it, just to know that that's your bangs. And... Then, of course, we add it on to the doll's head, and then you would glue it. Whoops. Hold on here. Oh, they can slip little boogers. <laughs> here's, here's the bangs, okay. And then, of course, now this will have uh, some more cotton in there to make them around it, okay? But I am just want to kind of give you an idea. Then, of course, you just put it on in here, glue it on on the head and just press it down when it's good and dry not before and then see what you want to do you maybe you braid it maybe you want to put a ponytail you know this is up to you leave it straight down for instance you know whatever but this is what I did to mine and you need to hold this piece here really tight, this center of it. So before I did anything, I grabbed this center and grabbed it really, really, really tight because I got me one of my, I don't use it for my dog, but that's what it is. And I start really, make sure this side is really tight because otherwise it'll come off. And you are gonna give a little curl, actually. See how pretty that is? Okay. Now you can do as much as you want to, and if you have a few of them, then you can undo them, you know, by hand, but, okay. See, and it really makes it pretty. I think it makes it really a more, 
like you have a natural curl, and then you do the other side the same thing. And then you grab this side and hold it tight. Whoops. And you can do the bangs the same way, or you can do it by hand. If it's just so little, it's not a problem. Just be careful with it, like I said, because you can sometimes feel it pulling on this side, okay? When you get it done, all of it, and if you don't, the rest of them, you say, well, I got a here, a little one or here, one or two in here or there. I'll just get me a tweezers or something sharp, you know, and then just do it a few of them by hand, okay? This one, let's see. Okay, it's pulling this way, so I'm gonna make sure I put it back, okay. And so you would do that before you actually glue it onto the doll. And then this in here, that they're smaller, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it a little bit more. Meh, nee. scissors. Ah. You have to excuse me today, I'm a little tired, and it's for a good thing. <laughs> I live about 21 miles for the next little town. I'm in, I live in a small town. Um, now this in here, what I'm going to do is, because it's the, um, she's just very little, so it's easier to do it by hand than the brush. Um, anyway, there's not much to shop on. We've got a Walmart on the next, um, in tw for 21 miles, okay? We do hit an HEB and a few things, but that's not a big deal, okay? Uh, we do have a, a Charlton State University, and that's what it makes the biggest population of the, of the, the next town, okay? But guess what? We had a, a new Hobby Lobby today. <laughs> And I was there early. I was there so early. Uh, I'm so excited because usually it takes me about an hour and a half drive over there and an hour and a half drive back in here to the next, you know, town, city. And so this way I don't have to do that. In 20, you know, about 15, 20 minutes I'm already in Hobby Lobby, which is great. But it's been a long day, so <laughs> I wanted to get this video done. And so excuse me if I'm a little bit weird. I'm tired. <laughs> But not tired enough to finish this because I've been loving getting my hands back on, on, on crafting. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep it up because this week I'm starting working on my house again. I need to move there as fast as I can. I just need to uh, because, uh, because I want to. And so uh, that means I'm going to be working on the house myself quite a bit. All righty, see? And when you get that in there, and I'll show you how it how in this doll that I did. There you go. You got, actually, you got in here a nice, nice, nice little wig. And it would, didn't take that long. And then, of course, you will put it down. And then you will kind of round it, you know, shape it up a little bit. And that is, folks, it. Easy, easy, easy. And like I said, you know, whatever you cannot get done with a brush, you can, if you have the patience for it, like I said, and I do, as a matter of fact. I like, I, I like tedious things. Some people don't. I just happen to be one of them that does. Then I'll just get here and I'll just pull them all out and, you know, and then whatever. But that is a little weak. It didn't take that long to do it. Let me show you the little doll because it, it turned out really cute. Okay, I need to hold it and you have to kind of bear with me. Okay, here's the little doll. And what I did is, now this one, let me get this, see if it's dry. Okay, she's, she's got a little dog that she's walking, okay? But, see the little bangs? And I glued part of it really close to the edge of the of the head, okay, of the forehead. And then I just br brought it down what I wanted it, and of course I kept trimming it until I, you know, I, I liked it. On either side, what I did on this one, which is basically this, maybe a little longer, but the same. I did a braid on each side, but then I glue it close to the edge of the side of the face on either side, and then I brought it back on the back and just started with the same piece of uh, yarn and just let it hang down because I, I really wanted her to look 
I, like, I wanted this look on her hair this time for a change. But this is how easy that is. And I think she turned out beautiful. Now, remember the jacket that was made out of the same dress fabric? I mean, the skirt fabric. Well, I didn't like it. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, it didn't do anything for me or the doll. So when I painted it, this color, which it brings this color up. And then I decided the color, I like this color better. So I also painted it. Then with a little piece of the, uh, the napkin that I used for the trim, which it, it actually goes pretty well with it. Uh, I try to find different colors in it. And see, on the for, to make buttons out of them. And I made a tiny little ball, glue it on, and then with, uh, with this little guy here, okay, let's see if we can find that one. I just kind of pressed it down a little bit, and that was it. Or oh, maybe it was the brush. I don't have this. Maybe it was the brush. Like I said, you don't need a big tools for this. But I think she turned out so much better. I painted the, the, the hands white, like she was wearing a, a, some white gloves and glue on a few flowers, and she looks like she's looking at the flowers. And she's taking her little dog for a walk. Okay, there it is. And there she is. Let me kind of hold her from the back so you can get it better more. There she is with a little Winnie dog. That's my little Tigger, by the way. We call, I have a little Winnie dog and her name is Tigger. So this Tigger is about those colors. She's brown with a lot of, some black in it. And she's uh, 11 years old, bless her heart. Anyway, so this is what I did. Now, we're still not done with her because you know, now where is it? Oh. <laughs> Remember the little hat that I did? But I did not change the top. The flowering is fine. But it was green, so I painted it in this kind of an aqua. Uh, let me tell you what the color is. Uh, okay, where are you? Cloudless from uh, Apple Barrel. Okay? And that's all I did. And then I went and painted, just in case it showed, I painted the inside too. So now what I'm going to do with this baby is glue it, the uh, hat to her head. So I'm, gonna, I'm using tacky glue, by the way. And I'm just going to bring it in, in, inside and around it a little bit. So it will be, it will stay in, you know, in her hair too, of course. And... Let me take this out of the way. So that I can put it on her. Let me let me get her to this side first. All right, there you go. And there she is. Isn't she cute? And she's taking her little puppy to for a walk. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I had a lot of fun making her. But like I said, uh, sometimes I'll do something just to do, you know, just to piddle with it. And then I find that I don't like it. Now her boots, this little fabric has dark gray and light gray. So this is what I did to the little boots. And uh, again, if I had known better, I, may, I would have not made her boots. I would have made it just shoes. But she already had the boots on. I didn't want to redo it, and that's how I did it. And on the back, she looks really cute with her little hat. And that's it. So I think she turned out really cute. So it's, you know, it's one of those things that they, oh, it just takes, you really, really need to, let me put her down. You really need to uh, have patience with these little dolls because it just takes time to, uh, it's like you're sculpturing something, but you're doing it with cotton. Uh, 
So, you know, that's, that's what it is, actually. Now, on this here, on this little bunny, this is the Easter bunny, remember? Okay, his face was smoother because I used the batting that, you know, um, quilting, 100% cotton quilting batting. And so I, I got it really wet with the, uh, the uh, cornstarch glue and then kind of stretch it out on his little face after I have done his face. And this is why it's much smoother. But let me show you quickly. See, it's not so smooth, this one. See how it's not smooth at all. Neither in the back. But we will do that. So this is gonna be the next lesson. I will show you how I did this hat, this little head of the bunny. Also, I will show you how to do the ears, which is real simple, really, but uh, I will show you how to do that, okay? And my next video, is gonna, we're gonna be working on the bunny. Uh, but I wanted to finish this off so you'll know, so you can see the doll all together as, you know, uh, finish. So, anyway, so until next time, stay very well, uh, crafty, and God bless you all.